All right, today we're going to talk about adding some notes to the blues scale to make it your uh, blues scale sound a little bit more interesting. Most people know the typical box pattern. So, the, it's great. It works really well with blues. Now, this is more rock oriented, but people call it the blues, so we'll stick with that for the purpose of this exercise. Now, when you're playing a 12 bar blues, you're using a 1, 4, and a 5 chord. In this case, we'll use an A, 7, D7, E7. 1, 4, 5, A, B, C, D, E. 1, 4, 5. Within that key. So, uh, in your A7 chord, all the notes in an A7 are in the blues scale except for the third, which is a C sharp. So whenever you're playing an A7 chord in your blues pattern, add a C sharp to it. Now when you switch to a D7 or the fourth chord, you want to use the third of D7 because all the other notes in a D7 chord are in the blues scale except for the third. So now we're not using a C sharp because that was for A7 specifically. So now we're specifically using or adding a, an F sharp for the D7 chord. So you can almost hear the sound of the chord as you're playing the riffs because you're actually using chord tones. When you go to an E7, you have two chords that are not part of the blues scale. You have a G sharp which is the third of an E7 chord, and you have a B, which is the fifth of an E7 chord. So when you're playing a blue scale and you happen to be in the E7 portion of it, you want to use those notes so that it sounds a little bit outside of the blue scale. So when you're doing your 12-bar blues, you have your A, D7, a7. Then you go to your D7. A7. E7. D7. A7. E7. And then end on A7. So just a, an easy way you can add some notes to the existing blues scale to make it sound a little more specific to the chords that you're actually playing.